hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'll be talking about activities you can do to bond with your kids if you're new to this channel please subscribe if you like this kind of content i talk about motherhood lifestyle and tech um, if you're an old subscriber welcome back um, so today like i said i'm going to be talking about activities you can do to bond with your kids so a lot of us parents feel some sort of like stress or anxiety or uneasiness when um, we're not able to do activities with our kids we get some kind of like mom guilt or we feel like we don't know exactly what to do with our children so today I'll be like giving us some tips on what we could do with our kids and just to let you know that also that it actually doesn't really matter if you if you are beating yourself up because you are seeing um, maybe people's posts about things that they're doing with their kids, it doesn't mean they're doing all those things every time. Um, you can kind of like dedicate, even if it's 15 minutes, 20 minutes, an hour every day, and kind of like be present with children. That is far more valuable than um, having one day and then trying to like crap in all the activities in one. So I'm gonna give you um, tips and tricks <laughs> on how to um, have activities to do with your children. And so the number one thing I'll be sharing today is playing board games. Kids love to play games. So you could play board games with them. You could play like chess, Candyland, um, was this one Spain, battleship there's lots and tons there are tons of games you can play with children that they enjoy to play sequence um scrabble ludo plenty there are plenty of games you can play with your kids um you can also introduce them to the ones that you played as as a child growing up so, um do um number two thing you can do it's arts and crafts um you don't have to be <laughs> um the best painter the best artist to be able to do this activity with your kids it could just be like hey um let's draw um you know practical so let's do origami you know i know that all of us grew up making those like boats um kites airplanes you know different things that you can make with like paper you know like those origami origami things do those things with your kids do those things with your kids draw with them play with them color with them <laughs> sometimes i just like just want to wind down right you're also getting the benefits of your winding down you're distressing you are feeling better your kids are also feeling better you guys are all bonding and talking and that's how kids get to talk and they tell you things that you they rather not have told you before um but when you're doing an activity with them they kind of start opening up to you and then you could kind of like know what's going on in them. the number three activity is cooking or baking with your children like that one is um so there are so many benefits to cooking and benefit to cooking and baking with your children one benefit is you get to do things together you get to bond with them that's one they are also learning a practical a life skill like everyone needs to know how to cook how to take care of their bodies you also teaching them like the right kind of foods to eat um when kids join you to to cook or to bake they are more likely to eat that thing because it's something that they made themselves so they feel some sort of, sort of like accomplishment and also another tip is if you've done this thing with a child over and over um they get to a certain age where the kids can actually cook and then you get to rest <laughs> That's another tip, you know, by the time they're like 10, 11, they are taking up over cooking. You don't have to do it anymore. They do these things for themselves. And then you kind of like supervise and watch them do it. So like, it's a win-win, you know? So teach your kids, um, it's not teaching, cook and bake with them. You know, let it be a, a thing of joy instead of them seeing cooking and baking as a chore. Let them see it more as an activity to be done. Um, to nourish their bodies um there's another one about having movie nights you can have movie nights with your children um so we get to do movie night on fridays in my house at least twice every month we do friday night movie nights um you get to let kids choose what they want 
and on another night you get to let the parents choose what they want and so you kind of see the kind of things that your kids are interested in um and then you also let them into your own world to kind of see the kind of movies you watched growing up and then it kind of like helps because you they get to understand you you get to understand them um and then like i said um if you also want to reinforce some um, values or skills you get those movies that ch that you watched or that you think are appropriate um, for your kids and then you all can watch as a family and talk about it later um, so those are good conversation starters um, those are also good to kind of um, instill values that you want for your children which also leads me to um, reading books with your children um, after reading every book with your child you should kind of like like ask questions so um, depending on the age of the child right um, you start prompting them to know to test their reading and comprehension skills their comprehension skills okay so what happened when little red um, um, picked up what happened when she went to her grandma's house what what did the fox do how did the fox trick her you know like you ask certain questions just to know right and then when they get older you can say oh narrate what happened in that story to me to see if they're able to summarize a story back to you um, you can also say if it's an older kid you can say um, you know we read a story this week or we did this this week can you write about what you learn about from that story so you're also not just bonding but you're also teaching them and these are some skills that they need too as well um so you basically you're going to check like depending on where the child is and build it up to say oh okay if it's a smaller child like three two years ask them questions about the book they read when they get into like seven eight tell them to narrate the story they can narrate the story back to you and they can summarize the story to you and then when it keep getting older they can say start writing about what you read so um that's also a good way um is about reading and write, reading stories with your kids and discussing what you read with them and then you can also um another tip is going on adventure with your kids um even if it's just um doing something fun with them you can garden with them you can run around in the park with them do something that that it's outdoors with them right and then um but at the, at the end of the day it's just so that you can get them feel trust connected to you and they're not spending their whole day on computers or on tablets and ruining their eyes and let them go out there explore the world get their creative juices running um i hope some of these tips were useful um and of course at the end of the day when you're trying to bond with your kids the for, the gate the goal here is to bond with them is to have activities that you all enjoy it's not necessarily about what you as a parent enjoy it's also do my kids enjoy this and then you you're also teaching them how to accommodate people so you do something they enjoy they do something you enjoy um thank you so much guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this and um if you like this kind of content please subscribe and also share with your friends and family and like it comment also in the comment section below and i'd love to see you in my next video bye